guys, it's Becky. I am back with another process video. Today I'm going to be using the Gather Collection by Maggie Holmes, or by Crate Papers by Maggie Holmes. Is that how you say it? I don't even know. It's the Maggie Holmes Gather Collection. <laughs> so as I usually do, I am showing you the papers that I think I'm going to be using first. And as you saw there, I had showed you a several six by six papers and I don't really end up using those, even though I fussy cut out quite a few of those flowers. So right here, I'm gonna go ahead and trim down this ballet paper, and I am going to use that as part of my layering piece for my fitted mat. I am also going to use some of this music note paper as well, which might be the reverse side of that. Um, ballet paper. I just think the music note paper that I actually used was from the 6x6 pad, but that is the reverse side. I pulled out this swan paper because, as you can see by that photo, I am scrapbooking a page about Swan Lake. Now this particular photo I did not take because when we went to see Swan Lake, I was not taking pictures first. You're not really supposed to, and I'm a rule follower. And also, I was too busy watching the performance. It was amazing. I loved it. So I'm going to go ahead and finish creating my layers. I did pull out this swan paper right here because that's perfect, right? Swan Lake. But as you can see from the pink tone of the ballet paper and the swan lake paper, they are completely different and I didn't like that. And you will see here in a little bit, I will come back and rip that paper right off of there. Cause I'm, I end up going with the more soft tone of that ballet paper. I did put behind there a piece of this, um, is it a plaid? Is it a gingham? I don't even know. It's like a black and white shade. That one right there. It's going to slip behind there, right there. And I am going to stick it down. Okay, so here I'm looking at this background and it's kind of busy and I don't love it. So I pull out these white papers. Now, I don't know if you can see it on the camera, but they are um, kind of, they're a resist paper. They came out of a Heidi Swap maybe paper pad. I had just got those at Michael's not too long ago. It was like $2 for the whole pad. You got like 24 pages of resist and also that gold floral paper, which is also a resist. So I bought two of those packs. So I've just been using the resist paper as a background. So on the background of this, there are lines that are resist, but I did not utilize, utilize those at all. Right here, I pulled out those flowers I had fussy cut out of the six by six paper pad. And here's my problem with six by six paper pads when you get the papers as well. The tone of this pink does not match the tone of the pink that is in this exact same paper that is 12 by 12. What is that all about? I don't know. It's super aggravating because you maybe want to use that big, you know, floral with the pink background and you get the six by six paper pad as well. So maybe you want to use them together so you can have some small flowers and big flowers. Only they don't match. It is ridiculous. I don't know what that's about. Ugh, that's one of my biggest pet peeves. So I went ahead and pulled out my acetate sheet and I cut out this one of the hearts and also the one of the ballet dancer and it says hashtag pure joy. I pulled out this sticker sheet and put off some stickers over to the side that I think I might use and now I'm looking at that chipboard sheet trying to see what I might want to use with that as well. You can see I pulled out the ballerina and the wreath and then a couple feathers. Right here is where I decided I did not like the tone of that swan paper and I ripped it off. But when I put this back down, it needed something more. So I am going to run away for a second and pull out this tissue paper. And I am going to use that between that pink ballet paper and the black and white kind of check paper. When I cut this tissue paper, 
a lot of times when I do that, it gets like a jagged edge and you have to be super, super careful with it. And I don't know if it's just me. Is it the scissors, the scissors I'm using? I am not sure, but sometimes the edges turn out really jagged. So I do pull this back a little bit off screen and kind of even those up a little bit. I do think I cut that out. Right here, I had stapled, initially stapled those um, tissue paper together and I am going to add a few more um, staples in there because they're just kind of loose and flimsy, which is good and I like that, but it was a little too flimsy. So I went ahead and added a few more staples. And here is where I am going to go ahead and commit to this photo mat. Now I don't lay, I don't glue it down onto the background just yet because I, for some reason, sometimes I will take my main area or my main cluster or even individual clusters and I'll just create them first and then put them on the page. In this particular case, I did the main cluster without putting it down. So here I am committing to that swan and that ballerina. That swan is going to be tucked under the ballerina. I did try him out on the top and that pink one as well, but the pinks, they just look so bad together. So I went ahead and put the swan down and I'm going to lay the ballerina over his little tail feathers. I am going to pop part of that ballerina up on some foam tape because she was kind of sagging down a little bit. So right here I'm putting some double sided tape onto the acetate pieces. That is what I'm going to use to glue them on to that photo mat. And I do that with both of the acetate pieces. And I'm not sure why I decided to choose the tape. Maybe because it was right there on my desk, but so is that Tombow because I can see it right there on the screen. No clue. Maybe I just wanted to peel off the paper from the tape, who knows. So right here, when I am doing this, this is the morning time. This is before I went to work that day. And I am going to do a little bit more embellishment. And then I'm going to leave. And I'm going to go to work. And I'm going to think on it. And then I'm going to come home and add some things. Right here, I am going to add this. I wanted to use that music note. But I wanted it to, I wanted, there was like a gap. So I wanted to add something back behind there and that's where that music note paper came in. It doesn't really matter because I do add something else behind there in the end. Well, not in the end here in a minute probably. So I went ahead and popped that up on something too, which I am on, or on foam tape as well, but I'm also going to take that off because I do slip this wreath back behind there. I really like how this looks. It's kind of... In the end, it's kind of behind that ballerina. It is so cute. I really like how this ends up. The only thing on this layout that I think I would change is when I put down the title, you will see it. I don't leave enough space between swan and lake. And it looks like one word, swan lake. It's not one word. <laughs> so I don't know why I made it so close together, but I did. That's the only thing I would change. I love how this layout turned out. It's really, really pretty. So there I go. I went ahead and put that music note back down. Actually, I'm adding adhesive to it, and then I'm going to put it back down. And that is where it is going to stay. Right here is where I'm messing with this title. And as you can see, they're two different words, right? Not when I put them down. They're not. <laughs> right here they are. This is a little ticket, and you know how the Gather Collection has that sheet of paper that's a whole bunch of tickets? This one actually happens to say ballet on it. It says Roxy Theater Ballet. Didn't care. I went ahead and tucked that back there behind those music notes. So that trap space that I had previously, it wouldn't have mattered anyways. Although, I do like having that music note paper up behind there. I suspect I might have put it on there upside down, though. I don't really read music, but... Someone who does can tell me. At this point, I had gotten home from work. And when I was at work, I had taken a picture of this layout and was kind of looking at it. Trying to think, oh, I like it. It's really, really clean. But is it too clean? I kind of want it a little bit messy, but I don't, I want to keep it soft. 
So I was like, I don't know what to do. So right here, I just cut out a couple little squares that kind of resemble where, they kind of tell me where that those acetate pieces are. That's the only reason I put it down there, so that I could throw some adhesive on there. And what I am going to do, and what I'm going to spend a lot of time doing, which I should cut out, and I don't think I did, is I just trim this tissue paper into strips, and I lay it down behind where the fitto is going to be, that whole big fitto mat. I just lay down strips of tissue paper, and it kind of adds a little something messy, but also is soft, and I love how that looks. It looks so nice. So what I'm doing this year, and actually I've done before, but I'm going to go ahead and do Project Life, and I'm going to have some 12 by 12 pages in there because I just have albums. They're chronological. If it's Project Life, is a 12 by 12, it doesn't matter. They just go in the albums chronologically. So I don't put any journaling on this album or on this layout, but it will be in my Project Life album because I do have a picture from this day. And actually when I'm doing Project Life, it's more of a photo a day. And sometimes maybe I might use more than one photo, but I at least want one photo per day. And on this day, I do have a photo of a different scene of the dance that was my husband's favorite. But I am gonna kind of do some journaling in that Project Life that will talk about us going to Swan Lake. And what I had done is, I had saw it in the paper, we don't go do a lot of things, we like to travel. So what is that? Three times a year we'll go somewhere. Well, we don't do a lot on the weekends while we're home. And so I had saw in the paper that Swan Lake was there and so I had texted him and said, you wanna go to Swan Lake? And then maybe an hour later I had an email and <laughs> they were the tickets. So I um, guess that means yes, I would like to. <laughs> and this particular day we had been out shopping. We went and got a new washer and dryer. So we went out in the morning and we're shopping and I was so tired. I was just done with the day, I was done with it. We came home, we weren't supposed to leave for a few more hours to go to the Swan Lake. And I was like, can we just skip it? And he's like, well, if you want to, I said, how much were the tickets? And he told me and I was like, okay, let's go. <laughs> because they were too much to have wasted that money on. So right here, I'm gonna go ahead and put this double-sided tape on the back of my whole mat. And I kind of skipped ahead because it takes me a minute to pull it off. I did use that big old book just to weight it down. I wanted to make sure it would stick. And I left it there for a little bit. So here's where I'm gonna put my title down. And I'm not sure if I showed you the thickers or not. And I actually don't have them handy to show you what they are, but you can see right there, Swan Lake one word. That was just why, why, why did I do that? I don't even know. That kind of annoys me a little bit, but I did use some scotch adhesive. They're not going to come up, and if they do come up, they're probably going to rip my paper, so I'm not even going to try. I'm just going to live with it and pretend that there's a bigger gap between Swan and Lake, or pretend that Swan Lake is one word. I'm not sure which. So I went ahead and laid down those feathers, and I also laid down this little word, this gold word phrase it says this moment and the thing is I have gold on both of those acetate pages the um, I am gonna put the date down there by those gold hearts right here so I needed something over up in that right hand corner that was gold so I did put a sticker heart that is a gold and also that this moment sticker and that's why I did that there's also that sticker which I think I said over I put over on the left hand side right here I'm shaking up some Heidi Swap color shine in gold and I'm just gonna put just a teeny tiny bit of that on the upper left in the lower right corner and after I do that I don't do anything else to this layout so thank you so much for joining me please like comment and subscribe and I will see you next time bye guys